Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea J and the Lord has something to say, okay? I have another word from the Lord to release and this is coming from a dream I had um, probably a couple nights ago. Today is April 7th. I just recorded another word. Um, in this dream, I saw how there was these two outfits, okay? And then I don't remember what those two outfits looked like, but that wasn't the main focus. So then there was another two outfits and the first outfit was like this royal blue dress, okay? And so the dress like went like this across the chest area and it was nothing here. Like it was like a shoulderless dress, right? Strapless dress. Um, it has the like elastic, you know, piece to the dress to keep it up. And then um, it flowed a little bit. And you know, sometimes these dresses have like an elastic part around the waist sometimes and then it's kind of a little bit flowy so that's how the dress was it was like a summer dress um like i said it was royal blue it was you know shoulderless and it just kind of had a little bit of flow to it okay and then i saw how this woman's kingdom spouse had came up to her and like grabbed her like picked her up and hugged her and it was just like pure love and he just like loved her and that was it and then I saw how the second outfit, this same woman was in the second outfit. And this second outfit, um, it had, it was like a brown and white bandana type of um, shirt. I'm going to insert a picture if I can. But it was like um, brown and white. It had the bandana print. And so it was a shirt. And, you know, sometimes those bandana shirts, they go off, like they start off like this. And then they go into it like a triangle position so the sides were off but this one wasn't like that it went from up here and then it like split all the way down so the belly button and then the other side of her um body was showing so the breast area was covered and then it made a slant from the top to the bottom so it was slanted um and then the pants god was very very specific about highlighting to me what kind of pants these were so the pants they were like this material that does not hold well onto the butt okay so on the butt area is very loose so women that have a butt okay everybody got butt but everybody don't have a butt okay um the material of these pants allows your butt to sit up it doesn't make the butt firm it doesn't you know give it any stability so your butt is just kind of like floppy okay just to keep it real with you that's the kind of pants that god was highlighting to me the pants yeah they just they don't they don't have no support to them really they just kind of flowy and the women that this word is for you know what kind of pants these are because you got some in your closet okay so he was highlighting these pants okay so when the woman put this outfit on like the shirt i described and the pants i just described when she took the this outfit off it was on a mannequin and the mannequin looked real nasty like lustful just nasty i'm not going to describe what i saw but it was nasty right and so um the woman puts this outfit on and then i see her go to a restroom but there was a woman in front of her in the restroom looking in the mirror right like kind of when you try on clothes and the woman was looking in the mirror that was before her. And when she walked away, the woman in the dream, the main character of the dream, she stood in front of the mirror. And when she stood in front of the mirror, she didn't like how she looked in the outfit. All she could focus on was her flaws. Like, that's all she saw in this outfit. And like I said, the shirt was like it was. But it also had like little strings and a wrap um, tied around like the band part. So it was basically like something that was trending. It was something that was hot, hot fashion that was going on. So she looking at her body, she don't like how she looks in it. Then she turns to the side and looks at her butt and seems that the pants did not favor her body shape anyway. So um, God was speaking to me about this outfit that the woman chose to wear. And when she would have turned around, she would have seen her kingdom spouse. Because I seen her kingdom spouse waiting for her to come out of the restroom from trying this outfit on that she decided to wear. And after she would have turned around, then her husband, her kingdom spouse, would have saw her, okay? And then that was the end of the dream. So, in the beginning of the dream, the royal blue dress that, was, that had a little bit of flow to it, it wasn't um, super loose. She still had like a shape, but it was flowy. It was a summer dress, right? 
real cute um, royal blue. God is saying that you are royalty, okay? And he is saying that he wants you to dress like you are royalty. He wants you to resemble um, a woman of God, okay? You are a part of a royal priesthood, okay? So the dress, when the man, she had this dress on the first time, the man came up and hugged her. This was God saying that your husband will see you as a wife in this type of clothing, but your husband will not see you as a wife in the second outfit. There is an appointed time where God is going to allow you to meet your husband and how you dress is going to um, affect how he's going to see you at that time. Whether he is operating like a man of God or not, that's why God is trying to prepare you now um, to walk and look like a wife, not just on the inside, but on the outside. So he's trying to prepare you before this meeting happens between you and your husband, which is already ordained by God to happen at a certain time. The time's not going to change. And that's why God is trying to prepare you to look and dress like a wife because that second outfit was attached to the spirit of lust. When the woman took that outfit off that mannequin, the mannequin looked real nasty and had lustful stuff going on with it. So that outfit was attached to the spirit of lust. And God is saying, he does not want you dressing like that because it's not going to be a good look when the appointed time comes for you to meet your husband. He's going to see you as a woman to sleep with. He's not going to see you as the first option that like the woman had on the dress with um, the flowy dress. He's not going to see you as a wife. He's going to see you as somebody to sleep with, okay? And in this dream, I saw how when the woman had picked the second outfit, in her mind, she was thinking to herself, um, if it gets to that point where her and her kingdom spouse is about to have sex, she could just stop it. And I'm here to tell you that's not how it's going to go, okay? If you are battling with the spirit of lust, and you are inviting it by the clothes you're wearing, you're not going to be strong enough to defeat that spirit um, when you are in the midst of about to do it. Because like I said, they were um, getting ready to go into having sex. And she thought she would just, she would just stop him and be like, oh no, you know, but that's, that's not how it's going to go. And so God is trying to prepare you to not go in that direction based upon the clothes that you're choosing to wear. Um, and so he's trying to prepare you to look and dress like a wife. Okay. Um, like I said, the man was waiting for her to come out of the dressing room and she was looking at herself as in her insecurities in this outfit. The first woman that had the same outfit on as, as she did, then was not even supposed to be wearing it. Even if she looked good in it, she was not supposed to be wearing it because of what those clothes are attached to the spirit of lust and the woman she was looking at her insecurities and looking at how the outfit didn't even serve her body type to begin with. And God is saying, you might be wearing these clothes because it's trending. You might be wearing it because you see other women wearing it and it look good on them. And so now you want to wear it or um, you think it's going to make you look a certain type of way. And then it don't even make you look the way that you think it was going to make you look. All you see is what you don't like about yourself. Right. And so God is just saying that these clothes are attached to the spirit of lust. The clothes that you're choosing to wear is not going to suit you well when the appointed time comes for you to meet your husband. The appointed time is not going to change. And so that's why God wants you to have your um, outer appearance to match what you are doing, the inner work that you're doing with the Lord and building your relationship with him. Because if your husband is not strong and where he needs to be at the appointed time, at least you will be. And that's where God is trying to get you to be to the point where you won't give in to anything that's not of God by having sex before marriage. Because if you have sex before marriage, now you got all these problems with your kingdom spouse that you shouldn't be having because you decided to not um, represent as a wife. You decided not to um, dress appropriately. And it's not just for your kingdom spouse. It's for you. It's for God and your kingdom spouse. You should respect yourself enough to dress a certain way. You should love God enough to dress a certain way and you should respect your future husband whether he dare or not to dress a certain way, okay? And some of you women have been asking God for a husband but then you don't even dress appropriately for that husband when he comes and then you wondering why um, you're dealing with counterfeits or every man that comes by your way wants to just have sex is because the clothes you're wearing are attached to the spirit of lust. So go in your closet and look at the stuff that you wear and see 
what it really represents okay if you got on trending clothes that look like you go to the club every friday saturday sunday nights look like you go to day parties look like you be out in the streets then those are the clothes you need to start throwing out and you need to start asking god for help and to send you the right kind of clothes god is not saying that you have to dress ugly god is not saying that your stuff have to look unattractive but he's saying your stuff has to look respectful okay you need to be a representation of christ and you cannot do that by wearing clothes that look like you like the club and party all the time that is not cute okay and your husband even though he's your husband again he may not even be who he's supposed to be yet when this meeting happens god don't is not sending perfect people so if he is not where he's supposed to be that's why god wants you to be where you're supposed to be so that you can have your boundaries in place and not allow this man to have sex with you before marriage and then y'all have all these problems that can be avoided if you woman of god will get into the right space where you're supposed to be with god okay with how you dress all right um and so yeah god is wanting you to evaluate your clothes he wants you to evaluate how you look on the outside okay just because you might hear from god just because you might be talking to him that's not enough your outside needs to look like you are a wife and we're not talking about the men and how they would talk to any kind of woman, whether they're clothed or not. Don't deflect, okay? We're talking about you. God is highlighting you in the way that you dress so that you can be prepared the right way that he wants you to be prepared and not the wrong way, okay? And so, um, yes, your clothing does matter. How you dress does matter. It matters to God. It's going to matter to the man of God, whether he's going to be a man of God at the time of um, meeting or not. When he becomes a man of God, it's going to matter. So to get the best results is for you to dress right, okay? No more dressing like you um, live at the club 24-7, okay? Um, you're going to have to start representing Christ well. And so that's going to start with how you dress, all right? So um, I'm going to leave y'all with the scripture, Psalms, Song of Solomon 84. And it says, I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, that you stir not up nor awake my love until he please. Okay? So God doesn't want you to awake, you know, sex before marriage. He doesn't want you to um, operate in those kind of spirits of lust by the clothes that you're wearing and cause you to go into a situation with your kingdom spouse or going into sex before marriage with your kingdom spouse and him walking away and leaving. God does not want you to awaken love before it's time. Meaning, even if y'all meet, he doesn't want sex to be on the table. He doesn't want that as an option because that is supposed to be after marriage. No matter how you want to look at it, sex is supposed to be after marriage. That is how God has set it up. That is how God wanted it to be, and that is his ways. And if you want to live by his ways, if you want to be viewed and looked at as a wife, God is saying he wants you to change the way you dress, okay? So no more of those pants. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you got a pair that is making your butt not have no stability, and you just walk in and man is looking at nothing but cheeks, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So go clean out your closet. Yeah, you cannot overlook the way you dress and think that. God just going to send you some man. And you're going to have to do some work, okay? You're going to have to get it together on the outside like you're getting it together on the inside. So that's all that I have for you guys in this word today. I hope that this will bring you some clarity, okay? For those of you that are looking and asking God for a husband, he wants you to be presented in the right way, all right? So I will see y'all in the next video, and y'all have a blessed day. Bye.